The Palm Springs Festival is showcasing more than 134 films this year. One of those films is Esther Newton Made Me Gay, a documentary that explores the life and times of cultural anthropologist Esther Newton. Today on Eye on the Desert, we continue our exploration of the Palm Springs International Film Festival, and I am very pleased to welcome Esther Newton and Jean Carlo Musto, who are here to talk about the film Esther Newton Made Me Gay, which the title kind of is intriguing and makes you laugh a little bit, but it makes you want to kind of dig into this. Tell me a little bit about the origins of this movie. Well, the origins of the title uh, actually goes back to Esther's work. Um, Esther being an anthropologist who was um, really influenced by Margaret Mead, uh, wrote this collection of essays called Margaret Mead Made Me Gay. And so that was definitely an influence, but also Esther's students had already made these t-shirts back many years ago, 20 years ago, they made these t-shirts that said Esther Newton made me gay. and. You know, I, I, I thought it was um, an adequate um, uh, encapsulization of what we're putting forward here and talking about a pioneer, basically, somebody who made space for us to be queer. Well, and truly, Esther, you really pioneered the field of LGBTQ studies. Uh, I don't even think it really existed in that solidified form until you started doing work in this field. Well, it's not just me. I mean, I was pretty much the first in anthropology, for sure. Um, but by the time the 80s came around, there were a, a whole bunch of us in social science, history, English literature, and so on, who really, more, really created that field. I certainly had a part, a big part in that. I think a, a huge part. Uh, tell me a little bit about it. It's more than just a biopic, though, right? This this is really kind of a look back at your career and, and the influence that, that you've had uh, on culture and society. Yes, it, it, it's more than just a biopic. It's a work of art. <laughs> it's a beautiful film and uh, a real labor of love. Jean heroically, you know, every aspect of filmmaking, she's done it. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it is about, it's not just about my academic career, it's about my love life. <laughs> you know, there's um, uh, three, two exes and one current mm -hmm. partner have great roles in it. And it's also the subject we were talking about before the interview, it, a, a theme that runs through it is dogs. And Esther's life runs through some of the more interesting and influential historic periods in, in um, LGBTQ plus, you know, uh, history, uh, where, first of all, we, we get to see the front lines of second wave feminism, we get to see pre Stonewall drag culture in the Midwest, uh, we, we get a glimpse of uh, the early history of uh, lesbian feminism, because she was hanging out with at least the East Coast movers and shakers. So, and and then we get to see the real, um, the community that made Cherry Grove such a, you know, such a beautiful queer space. So her life intersects with all these important periods of history. Beautifully said, and I know that people will want to track down this film. Esther Newton Made Me Gay is here at the Palm Springs International Film Festival. It's screening, and we are going to put up the showtimes for you so that you'll be able to check it out as well. And we just appreciate you both coming on Eye on the Desert today. Thank you very much.